Hive Nation. Welcome back to the Hive Nation podcast. Each week, we have leading experts in personal and professional development share their journeys and expertise to help you connect, engage, grow, and evolve. This episode of the Hive Nation podcast is sponsored by Lost River Distillery. Vodka crafted by hand, enjoyed by the best. Hi Nation, uh, we're here doing a live shoot uh, on location. We're still in the office, but a little different portion of the office. Uh, Mr. Greg Cooper and myself, uh, Jason Barish, and today we're going to be talking about uh, challenges. And I'm not talking about the challenges that you... you occurs on on a day-to-day basis but i'm talking about the challenges that are a challenge that you create in order to create some sort of whether it be social function or uh, raise funds for a good cause or whatever and who not a better person to talk to than greg greg's big on on doing challenges for you know the the social aspect of having awareness brought forward to whether it be uh, a disease or a uh, function of sort. Uh, we all remember back in the day the, the ice bucket challenge and you know Greg and I were just talking about what he did. Most of it at the end of it just turned out just to be for show. It wasn't ever to raise funds for anything. It was just to, to, to piss around essentially. But you know what Greg's been doing recently has been you know very much uh, in the forefront and you know and I tip my hat to Greg. So I'm just gonna turn it over to Greg. Uh, so Greg what have you done lately to support challenges and or create challenges for our network that have been, you know, fun and, and interesting and also to create awareness? Yeah, you know, challenges are interesting and throughout the network we've built, especially with the collective and, you know, Rock and Rise and, uh, you know, military first responder group, uh, there's that inherent competitiveness that come from those, those folks and from athletes, you know, like myself. But we always looked at how can we make social media better? You know, there's this constant wave of negativity where it's, you know, either mindless dumb stuff or, you know, the worst of the worst. Well, if we get all of our friends and everybody on the network, you know, doing a challenge or, you know, moving together as one unit, that's at least, you know, five people turns into 15 people. Well, now that's 15 people a day posting something positive, not just cool because we're showing that, hey, if you're capable, do, you know, if you're capable, push, if you're capable, challenge yourself. Uh, But it's backed by in uh, February, the push up challenge was for the Canadian Mental Health Association, uh, push for better, which was really awesome, like $2.1 million raised over 44 million push ups were done by 50,000 people. Wow, that's incredible. That's 50,000 people that went out of their way. Uh, You know, I had people reaching out to me that were IT you know, professionals that were like, man, you know, 20 push-ups was challenging for me at the start. Now I can do 100, you know, within, you know, 10 minutes. And I'm so proud of myself. Also, you know, I raised, you know, a few hundred dollars in my office. Awesome. Job done. 100%. And it moves away from that, you know, silliness that challenges can bring, you know, like the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge where it can get too far on one side of, oh, everybody's doing it online, so I'm going to be part of this, but why are you doing this? Is it for the right reasons? So, yep. you know, long story short, it's it's to bring that social awareness, bring a group of like-minded people together to motivate and inspire, you know, individuals while raising awareness and money for amazing causes. And so uh, why don't you tell the listeners, what, what challenge are you doing this month? Yeah, so March, first off, <clears throat> shout out to Allie and Dave Curvin, Rock and Rise Podcast, and Corey at Mad Hatter. Uh, they put together an initiative uh, for myeloma, multiple myeloma cancer. Uh, so all of March, it's 10 kilometers a week of walk, run, cycle, or ruck, which our ruck is a weighted backpack or like a military vest. Um, you can get blood and donate to 
myeloma cancer foundation and they have like a point system and they gamified it so they put together a cool prize pack for anybody doing it to you know give a little incentive but the bigger incentive is you know for the cause yeah it's cool prizes motivate people which is good that should be part of it but the bigger thing is one we get people moving two people are going what's myeloma cancer uh you know Oh my God, you know, I, I had that happen in my family. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start raising funds. Didn't even know, you know, myeloma was March's month or that the burgundy ribbon was the myeloma ribbon. I learned all that personally in the last five days. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's March's challenge. Uh, definitely go out and do it. Um, and it's, you know, it's not unattainable. 10 kilometers over seven days. That's just over a kilometer a day. Go and walk. Yeah, I like to push and show people, you know, hey, you can do really cool things. I'm capable, so I put this on myself that I must. You know, I'm going to push it because if somebody goes, wow, if, you know, Greg can do that, I can, you know, walk with no backpack in the cold, put on my ski goggles and, and go do it, or, oh, I'll take my dog for a walk. You know, that counts. It's moving. You're doing something productive, and you're getting out and joining the challenge. We're not talking about Buster now, are we? Now, <laughs> if you have a dog like Buster the Beauty, a kilometer would be a very challenging task. For anybody who doesn't know, I have a bulldog named Buster, and he's the laziest uh, dude you ever saw in your life, and uh, to do a kilometer would be dragging 95% of that <laughs> kilometer. So. And that's a 70 pound rock at that point. That's a heavy <laughs> rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you about this as well, and you just brought it up. I just saw this, uh, and I talked about it yesterday with a friend of mine, about giving blood again. Mm. And so uh, it was a big part of my uh, life back when, and, uh, and for some reason I just kind of stopped. I'm not entirely sure why it stopped. Uh, how important is giving blood in, in your opinion, and, you know, and what, what would you say to anybody who's thinking about or on the fence of, of giving blood? Yeah, well, first off, I'm the same way. I used to give blood lots at university when we did all these challenges and fundraisers, and then I stopped for some reason. So this was the <clears> kind of <throat> kick in the butt to do that. And, you know, looking at um, the bit of the research I did into myeloma cancer, but just in general, uh, giving blood is super, super critical. For everybody in Saskatchewan or Canada, for that matter, or the hockey community, we remember the humble crash, and the hospitals were, like, begging. They couldn't get enough, right? They had... You know, all these kids that were mortally injured or severely injured that needed urgent blood and they were panicking because they didn't have enough. So it's not just, you know, for emergency room trauma or uh, blood transfusions for, for whatever is needed. Uh, myeloma cancer, uh, if I get this wrong, I apologize, but it, it attacks the white blood cells. So they need plasma if they're going through the treatment. So blood for that is super critical. Um, and it, you know, it's fairly easy. Yeah, you can be scary of needles. It's, you know, it's, it is a scary thing, giving your blood. And, you know, I, I know people that are afraid of that. So, you know, bring a friend, bring some support with you. You can book online at Canadian Blood Bank. Like a, it's super, super simple system. You can walk in the door and probably give blood. But uh, there's so many areas where it's needed. I think it's, it's so critical to do. I'm, I think I'm going to definitely start doing that again just from the I saw a commercial actually. That's where it came up, and and uh, I I thought to myself like why why don't I do that yet? Like yeah. how did that end? Like it just kind of mm -hmm. ended. Yeah, and and it's you know it's not something you need to do every day or can. It's you know if you really want to push the envelope on it for men, it's like once every fifty six days they like for women. I think it's like seventy six days. So you know put a put a reminder in your calendar. Oh. It's, you know, the week that I need to go get blood. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I don't know how long the procedure is, but, I'm, you know, not very long. You sit there, read your ebook, you know, listen to Buck and Rass Podcast, Collective, High Nation Podcast, you know, the best three podcasts out there. <laughs> yep. Agreed. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's it's a pretty thankless or, you know, pretty pretty simple thing to do. Yeah, yeah. If that's your challenge, great. Perfect challenge. You yeah. Know, give blood once every 56 days or... Yeah, I, th I think that's a, that's a good initiative for anybody listening. Like, if you have ever thought about giving blood or you're on the fence, I think maybe just look into it a little bit more. And, and I think, 
you go I would say go ahead and just do it. it it doesn't hurt at the end of the day and mm -hmm. it doesn't affect you at all and you could you know save a life for two or five you, you know you just never know uh, you know who's gonna be needing it and it might be somebody in your family you, you never know so I'm just uh, I'm not I'm not preachy by any stretch of the imagination but I'm just saying I, I'm gonna give it a try again and it's just for the good of, of you know human humankind yeah yeah absolutely you know there's a lot of good people out there but there's not enough you know vision on back to my original point on the social movement and the social impact of challenges there's not enough visibility on the good you know there's lots of it now and if you really care you can tailor your social feeds to show almost all positive delete the noise get rid of the people that you know aren't supporting or laughing well that's a dumb challenge what an ignorant thing to say delete easy job done easy <laughs> Like, and that's what I do these days. hundred percent. Like, if you're not in the wave, you're in my way. hundred percent. Like. Have zero time for that. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it baffles my mind. But. So, um, going forward then, Greg, do you have any challenges in mind, you know, for the, without giving anything away, obviously, but, uh, you know, so this is March, uh, April, May coming up. Uh, you know, you, I think you wanted to do it kind of every month going forward. Yeah, so. absolutely. Um, Chance Burles and me were talking about this. We're like, let's just do a challenge every month. And actually, I can't can't leave out Zach from the Canadian podcast and Mantel when he started Warmth and Words in November. I think that's when the kind of ball got rolling on all of it, where it's like, yeah, this was cool. You know, we got some people sharing stories. You know, what next? We can't do the same thing every month. I'm like, well, let's just, you know, spin the bottle and see. Okay, your turn to pick. Name the challenge, name the place, name the thing, let's do it. Yep. And I think it's as simple as that. And I think, you know, doing a challenge every month, um, part of the pull for me, it's how can you make your time uh, work for you? I know I need to do this every day. Okay, well, instead of going canatonic, going, there's no way, that's impossible. The only reason you can do that is because you're probably not working hard enough or not doing anything. No. It's 30 minutes. Yep. You don't have, it's not run a marathon today. It's move. Yep. It's 20 push ups. It's yep. 100 push ups, right? Anytime you can, just segment it. Make time for it. Instead of watching, you know, a second episode of Netflix, you know, one, net, one episode of Netflix done, okay, now I gotta move. Yep. And just set that and tell your friends. And that is why, you know, I had a friend say, why don't you just do it and not share it? I said, well, then one, there's no social awareness. Two, I'm not accountable then. Mm -hmm. As soon as it's out there and people see day one, they go, okay, where's day two? Oh, he finally did it. I thought he wasn't going to do it. Or and it might be even like just the the motivation that some people need to see somebody else doing it and putting it out there mm -hmm. and think to themselves, well, if Greg can do it, I can do it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm not a superhero. I'm, I'm just a normal guy. I'm just <laughs> saying that, you know, it may be just that motivation that somebody might need that... You know, they didn't know where to find it from, you know, mm. the motivation from. Mm. Absolutely. Well, and it's like I said to you, I was having a conversation with, with, you know, I've had this with a number of the people in the network. It's like that Spider Man meme where it's like, man, you inspire me. No, but you inspire me. But he inspires both of us. And it's, if that is the issue we're having, that's the perfect storm of everybody that's doing this is motivating each other and inspiring each other equally. It is. So now there's this group that are all here with each other. And now there's uh, people seeing that, that bounce off, that, that bleed effect of, of high performers. Yeah. And the, the, the people that we've got now within our network and who are, you know, we support, they support us, are really like some of the best people that we've ever met, like mm. by f any stretch of the imagination. Yep, absolutely. And uh, I do apologize. I've got to go back to your question there too before we get a little off track on, you know, what's next. So yes, we're going to do challenges every month, you know, for the next 8,000 months, whatever it takes, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. But uh, yeah, there's a couple um, in June. Don't want to give that one away yet, but Zach and me are uh, going to build a challenge to support somebody doing a, uh, some next level stuff. Okay, I know who that somebody is. <laughs> uh, this guy is a savage and he inspires tons and tons of people. So we'll drop that one soon. And then, you know, for people that absolutely don't don't move, maybe you can't, you know, whatever reason you can't do the movement challenges or the fitness challenges. I understand. So, you know, the one that I've been really playing around with and I see people do it is, you know, this month 
every day, you know, share or tag or post three individuals or pages or companies that motivate you, that inspire you to do better and be better. And now we have that effect of the social awareness where now it's all the network helping each other grow and get more eyes on them. Because it's like every time our network grows, it's like, man, everybody needs this person. It's like, I, I wish everybody saw that 15 second clip today the world would be a little bit better place. So that's going to be a challenge, uh, you know, maybe even next month. Uh, I'll throw it out there and, and start putting that together. But I think that one, literally everybody can do. Yep. No, I love it. It's that's, a button click. That's, uh, it's good. But at the same time, you know, like this, the things that you're doing is very much motivational to, I think, a lot of people. So, you know, I give you kudos to that, Greg. I think it's, I think it's a great work. I think it's great uh, outreach and you know, somebody has to do it. And so, you know, kudos to you for doing it. Yeah, you know, I, I was thinking about, you know, more why challenges too, a little bit more in depth. And, and I go back to a couple, a couple phases, a couple times. One, you know, it was, I always <laughs> seem to do things the hard way, <laughs> you know, always try to push, push a little more and do, do a couple more. And my, I, I asked my dad this not too long ago, he's like, I don't know what, gene or what clicked but he's like that was always in you and then you know i kind of started thinking about some of the the great causes we've been involved with and when i was in high school we did this fundraiser that was started by some students before me called the ride of the mustangs and it was for the alberta children's hospital uh there was a student that had leukemia and it was for him originally and then they turned it and it's uh, over 10 oh, it's 15 years now they've raised millions of dollars for the hospital well wow. Schools won philanthropy awards. It's it's really cool, but the year I got to take over as the chair of that event, uh, the very first meeting at the bottom of the presentation, I had the goal target. Now the year before we raised like ninety nine thousand dollars, so everybody thought I was going to put you know three digits. I did, except it was one hundred and fifty thousand, and everybody went like the principals like this kid's nuts, and I'm like, what's the worst that can happen? We raise one fifty plus. Or, you know, we fall short and it's still an awesome thing. But it's like, if we set the target too easy, you know, we're not going to push. We're just going to go, oh, that was attainable. We only need $1,000 more. We just need to go, hey, JB, just one more grand this year? Mm -hmm. That's not the point, right? It's, it's to push and to make people want to work harder. So kids were knocking on more doors. You know, they were going to every business they knew in Airdrie. And that year we raised like $153,000. And everybody turned up and looked at each other and went, look what we did. Then it was like a constant, like, can we keep this momentum? How, can we push it further? What's our cap? Mm -hmm. And like to date, like they're well over a million dollars, but wow. it, it was always that. It's like, I don't know why, but it's like, you know, we can do that or we can go one more because it's like much to your point. If somebody sees that we went one more, it's like, oh, wow, a group of kids did this. Yep. You know, maybe TC Energy saw that and went, cool, we're going to raise, you know, $2 million dollars. I don't know if that happened, but you know, if a group of kids can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's all we were. Yeah, no, that, that's <laughs> that's really, I mean, that's really great. That's usually how uh, you know how fundraising starts. Is always an idea and always a you know a goal in mind. But with that goal in mind, you always push to make sure that you have that goal in mind, right? And that's always mm -hmm. you know, and when you have all, everybody pushing for the same goal in mind, it's you know pretty easy to get to that that goal that's good that's really good yeah well and and all it takes is one right <clears throat> you know that's why like i think i've said it every day like shout out to to ali and dave like their why is is very near and dear to them for my aloma march uh, and you know they're leading the charge and it's so inspiring that you know they're finding ways to bring a community together so you know it's, it always just starts with one so if you know, anybody listening to this has has something in mind or has a cause that they're really near and dear to or, you know, think, oh, it'd be so great if I could just help out some way. You know, uh, philanthropy is the word that gets thrown around with it. It's not just monetary. If no. you can create eyes on something and get the right people looking and create awareness, you know, if that's all you're capable of right now is just the, the action, do that. Yep. And then go, hey, best friend, I'm going to start raising money for XYZ Foundation because this, great. Now tell the next person, tell the next person, put a social media post up 
And if five people are the only people doing that challenge, great. That's five more people than yesterday. It's a movement. Exactly. You know, it's it's more than just a uh, a challenge as per se. It's a it's a movement towards a goal, right? And that's you know, so for you guys to be you know take the bull by the horns and do it, not everybody is gonna do that, right? Like, <clears throat> period. Yeah. And so you know, for you guys to do it, it takes it takes big balls, and it it takes you know to put yourself out there. Like I, there's not very many people who do it, and yet I think there's a lot of people that see you as inspiration. So, kudos to you, man. Yeah, um, I man, I appreciate that. And it's funny, the one thing that I, I try to keep that perspective. You know, we talk about perspective lots, and these type of challenges lend yourself a lot of perspective. I went on this terrible rock the other day at knee deep snow. It sucked. The whole way through, I was like, I was in pain. Like that hurt. But the like, that night on the mile, one of the myeloma pages that I finished, like shared the story of this individual that, you know, got diagnosed with myeloma and then went, well, now I'm going to run a marathon. And during his whole like eight years he's had myeloma, he's run like 12 marathons. I might get this wrong. I'll have to share it tonight. You know, 22 half marathons. And then he got symptoms. Mm-hmm. Then he got chemo and he had to do like really heavy tr- treatment. Then he ran another one after he had like bone grafts in his shin and everything. And I'm like, his heart is nowhere near, mine's peanuts. And I'm like, you know, somebody battling any kind of illness. I'm like, they didn't choose to fight that battle. They didn't choose that challenge. Well, I chose this challenge. This, this means that challenge, the challenge in front of me is easy. So I always lend myself to that perspective. Whatever I'm doing, it's like, this is peanuts. This is momentary. In about 20 minutes, I'll be back in my warm house. <laughs> drinking some water <laughs> yeah, like, it's gonna be good yeah you know i don't have to go back to the hospital tomorrow yeah and get you know some kind of treatment or you know i don't have to think you know what's next because of this illness that's a great mindset you know, lend yourself perspective and it's it's not that hard yeah no that's a great mindset and there's always people who are worse off so uh, absolutely and you know like like you said just start it's just a challenge it's only going to be momentarily you know inconvenient but the cause and the social impact is far beyond that well great I, I look forward to the your challenges coming up and uh, the creativity within some of them so uh yeah i'm looking forward to it hot nation of course you can find greg on here or you can find greg uh i'm not sure what your instagram handle is i gotta change it it's uh g coops c-o-o-p-s 10 underscore i i gotta figure out a new handle but i'll <laughs> take it in this stuff and uh you can find us at the high professional network buzzy performance lab uh rock and rice podcasting and shout out to them mad out of industries the collective chanceboro sean taylor you know the list is going to go on of people you need to follow that are taking part in this stuff but it's it's an impressive group the, very impressive group i'm very proud to be part of that group just I just by well. association so ditto well, Greg, that was a, it's, that was a great conversation. And, uh, uh, yeah, just everybody who's listening to this, just stay attention or stay tuned to the challenges that are coming forward and uh, the March challenge that's going on right now, the myeloma uh, ruck or run or walk, bike, dog, whatever you want to do. Uh, you just go ahead and do it, but it all goes for a good cause. And uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to next month, Greg. Yeah, thanks, JB. Yeah, thanks, Greg. And Hive Nation, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this episode and others like it with anybody in your network that you think could benefit from it. And if you see anybody doing any challenges this month or in the months to come, you know, it takes two seconds to share it to your story, share it with your friend group, you know, just get some more eyes on it because uh, that goes a lot further than the funny dog meme. Also, one last thing I'd like to mention as well. We have a uh, an open an open challenge out there right now. If you want to call it that, for anybody who's written a book, for anybody who has uh, has thoughts about writing a book, even maybe, and you you don't know where to start or how you want to get it out there, contact us. You can DM us or or email us, whatever you want to do, and uh, we would love to review your book online. We have uh, on our podcast. We've done a couple now, three, four, maybe. Uh, yeah. And uh, we have another big one coming up with Annie Nakfi. Annie was on uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, she's the tsunami survivor, mm-hmm. and she's going to have an extended version of that uh, podcast 
on uh, doing her book review. So that'll be a really good one. But anybody who's listening to this and they have a book and you want to do a review of it online with us on the podcast, contact us. We would be more than happy to do that. Absolutely. So anyway, Hive Nation, you know where to get a hold of us. Uh, feel free to reach out directly to Greg and I personally if you'd like. But thank you very much, Greg. Appreciate it. Thank you, Hive Nation, we're out.